this could be a hidden trigger for sleep apnea. And there's two big parts to understand so we don't, I don't know, get jaw surgery unnecessarily. Number one, we're referring to TMJ here. This is when you have irritation in this joint. If that is the primary starting point, what can happen is that your jaw can kind of go backwards, right? And that will actually reduce the airway space you have at night, leading to more apnea events. But this chicken has an egg and that egg has a chicken because when you have obstructive sleep apnea, you'll do more of this, which is gasping for air at night. And then that will actually irritate this joint as well. So sleep apnea can lead into TMJ and even make TMJ even worse. So three big things. Number one, panic about another new health issue. Number two, talk to your doctor about any sort of jaw pain. And number three, a little bit of trigger point therapy has been shown to be helpful with this. All you do, take your finger, all right, and you're gonna find a point here, somewhere along your jaw, oh my God, and put that there. And then you just open and close your mouth while doing that. Be very, very gentle, very slow. And that will start to release some of the tension that can get stored in the muscles around this joint and reduce the pressure on this joint for less pain and all those bad things I mentioned. And if your jaw specialist thinks that's okay, let me know in the comments below if doing this is also a spiritual situation for you in terms of the tension release. I know it pretty much always has been for me. And for more ways to support healthy natural breathing at night, you can go ahead, click the big red button up here or the shop button down below, or go to the website over my face for a personalized plan to help you sleep better at night.